guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. This is video three in my Zoomist videos, and I'm really excited about this one. For those of you that follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you've probably been waiting for this video for a while. A lot of you may know that I actually adopted a sunbeam snake from Pennsylvania. I just happened to work out that the girl that was rehoming her had a friend that actually lived in the city I went to school in. So she was able to drive her back up with her when she came home. So it worked out perfectly. But for Zoomus, I wanted to do her introduction video because I did name her Tinsel because we were getting into the holidays. I've wanted to name one of my animals something Christmassy. And if you know what a sunbeam snake is, you know how beautiful they are. And that Tinsel was just kind of appropriate. And I figured since I'm cleaning enclosures today, it would be a good day to do her introduction video because I don't really handle her that often as you shouldn't with sunbeams. So without further ado, I'll go get Tinsel. She's usually very good with handling. She was used as an education animal. So she is a retired education animal, which is why she was being rehomed because, you know, sunbeams don't really make for good education animals. But she was handled for the education purposes and she was phenomenal. I just don't handle her as much because I don't need to take her out for education. I just wanted to give her a good and loving home. But here she is. I don't know if you guys can get a good look at her. So as awesome as sunbeams are, unfortunately a majority of them are wild caught. So she was a wild caught. She was rescued by a rescue in New Jersey and then was adopted by a girl in Pennsylvania for an education program and then rehomed to me thereafter because, because she doesn't really make a good education animal. So they are native to Southeast Asia and Southern China and they're kind of weird for snakes. They're different from most because they prefer really damp, dark, cool environments. So a lot of people who keep them do keep them in tubs because it's very easy to keep humidity up and provide the adequate housing that they do need. If you watch Tyler Ruggie's recent video with all his snakes, he does have a sunbeam snake and he does say keeping a sunbeam snake is like keeping a tub of dirt. And it really is. She is an absolute peanut. I do absolutely love her. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. And you can't even get the iridescence on camera. Like she is even more beautiful in person. It is amazing. They are one of the most iridescent snakes, which is why people love them because they're just absolutely stunning. And they do handle well. Occasionally they will musk as their defense, but she has not done that yet. She never did it with her last owner. She is an absolute doll. I really want you to be able to see the iridescence. But they are super, super smooth. So the whole thing with snakes being slimy, if any snake is gonna feel slimy, it's gonna be a sunbeam snake. My mom felt her and was like, absolutely no, she feels like a worm. And that's because they basically are worms. And if you see her head, she has a little shovel head. And that's because they spend all their time under the dirt. So they need this little shovel head to help them dig. And I think it is the cutest little thing. They're absolutely beautiful creatures. It is a shame and most of them are wild caught. But I absolutely adore her. She has been just the cutest little thing. So ladies and gentlemen, here is Tinsel. I hope you guys enjoyed finally getting to meet Tinsel. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more upcoming Zoomist videos. And we'll see you next time.